Hi, my name is Tom Bacchetti. I'm a technical marketing engineer at Veritas. I work in the Net Backup Product Management Group. Veritas Net Backup now supports Red Hat Virtualization, OpenStack, Azure Stack, containers, in addition to Hyper-V and VMware. In the case of VMware, we do it completely agentlessly. Let me show you how we do that. On our media server, we do have a small client. It's only one per media server that you require. We reach into that VMware environment. The first thing that we do is we create what we call a VIP. It's a VMware intelligent policy. We go inside vCenter, we interrogate all the different resources that we would use in doing a backup. So that includes uh, vCenter connections, data stores, uh, where the guests reside, the hosts, the clusters. We understand what all those are. We give you tunables so that you can equal out or balance that workload between all those different resources so you don't overrun the resources on your system. So that's the first thing we do with our intelligent policies. Uh, from there, we do this all using NBD, Network Block Device, which you should be already accustomed to. So we talk NBD into your ESX cluster. Pretty simple and straightforward, easy to take care of, no agents to manage, no clients to change or upgrade. Now in the case of uh, recovery, we have a number of different options to restore your data. Uh, the most popular now is our newest too is what we call instant access. With instant access, the user will put a request in to the master server and look at the different recovery points for your VM. That request goes down into the appliance. We generate what we call a universal mount point that creates a data store that gets used in vCenter. That data store can be mounted up. Uh, you can do up to 50 of these concurrently if you want, even running your, a smaller environment off of this data store, or you can run it and do a storage vMotion into the data store. Now we do all this using our new GUI. It's a new modern interface. It's all HTML5. This is the, the, the latest in VMware, and I hope this has been helpful.